In our short presentation, I would like to speak about the visualization of the ultrasound scans and critical ill newborns. We are in neonatal intensive care unit in Košice in Slovakia. Last 10 years, we see that there is an increased number of deliveries of the premature newborns in the, with the birth weight of less than 1,000 gram there is a 30% increase and also in the birth weight of from 1,000 to 1,500 there is an increase of premature delivers. So we have more preemies in our units. So what are the causes of the, these premature deliveries? Usually the mothers are older, there is more in vitro fertilization, the social and economic problems in families uh, is more uh, typical for the eastern part of Slovakia. We have more young and unmarried mothers. The centralization of pathologic pregnancies is not optimal and the availability of experts in smaller hospitals is limited. The possible solution we see in concentration and centralization of the pathologic pregnancies to the centers, the continual education of the staff, nurses, students, in the neonatal intensive care unit, and we exactly need higher level of communication. Now you can see the picture of the extremely premature newborn with birth weight of 640 grams during the first minutes of life. Usually these ex extreme premature newborns we move directly from the delivery room to the intensive care unit to the special bed for the stabilization and what is very important we must to teach to learn and to see what's happening with the baby what is the prognosis the, the parents are coming early and asking always what will be the, be, be the future and in the beginning it is exactly not easy to tell the golden minutes during the first minute are very very important we need well controlled intervention from the first minute of life uh, after that there is a critical first three days when typical complications are coming out we, and we must to, to solve it and to find it and to treat it the possible late complications during the next first three or four weeks are also very important the right intervention in the right time is the best solution for the possible future of the baby. So if we ha are able after 70 days have uh, increased weight of the baby and like you see in the picture this is the same baby after 70 days how the grow, how the condition is so we are happy that we could help to the mother to uh, have, a, have a good future for the baby. But during that period, it's very important for us, uh, for us to look inside to the body. We use it for it, the X-ray. It is static. It, it is not easy to repeat. We, use the, we can use the CT or MRI, but it is very expensive and we are not able to move, move the baby to another place. But on the other side, we are very often, and the ultrasound is very uh, helpful for us. What is the why this? Because it is non-invasive, we are able to easily repeat the investigation. We are able to follow the dynamic changes, what's happening in the in the body. The the we are able to tell the the parents the prognosis. We have more information. It is better selection for the right intervention in the right time, and we are collecting the experiences and serial evaluation in some cases is necessary. So before we made the ultrasound uh, investigation and we printed out the papers and we put these papers to the, to the chart to the baby. Sometimes after two or three days we have 80, 100 small pictures and it was not easy to uh, find the right picture easily, quickly and compare it. So. We, we try to find some better, a quicker way how to, do, uh, how to use this data. So the ultrasound in newborns 
it is able to detect the majority of severe or mild congenital abnormalities. It is able to detect and follow the dynamic changes in the transition process. It is able to evaluate the effectivity of our interventions and is able to detect severe morphologic complication and we are easy, it is easier for us to tell the right prognosis. So in our system we uh, develop uh, communication between the ultrasound. From the ultrasound the pictures are going through the Wi-Fi to the database or to the, to the notebook or a, a tablet com computer and uh, using the tablet we are able to go directly to the database and we are able to open the pictures we are, e we are able to easy search what was uh, uh, stored and we are able to see it in a big screen like you see it in the, in the picture so uh, we are using this system during the daily rounds to evaluate the condition of the baby. We are speaking about the condition, we are speaking about circulation, we are speaking about morpholog morphologic changes in the brain, and we are speaking about the contractility of the heart, we are speaking about the output, uh, if some, uh, uh, what are the findings in the heart and what is the possible intervention what we could select. So the advantage of our system is to quickly to evaluate the scans during the daily rounds bedside on the high resolution LCD screen. Easily select and compare the older and new scans and we are also able to leave the serial scans available for the working staff during the busy days and it is easy to, to teach, it is easy to speak about the, the findings. The same system we are using for also for the students. If we have the cases, we can to collect the data about the case from the delivery room. We can move the data to the bedside. And when the students are coming and they see the baby, we are able to show what happened in the delivery room. So we are comparing the, the clinical pictures, the clinical videos from the delivery room and directly with the, with the situation which is, which is seen in the unit. In some situations, we are taking out the data from the computers or we're taking down the data from the ventilators or the supporting machines, what we are using. So this is how does it looking. We have everything bedside. The ultrasound, the database, LCD screen, high resolution LCD screen, and the tablet. The tablet is the tool to use it to communicate with this, this, uh, uh, with this hardware and to use and to quickly access the data and compare what was recorded. So what are the main strengths of, the, of our project? It is the safety storage of the, of the data because the data are in the ultrasound, the data are in the database. Uh, we are able to quickly access the data. We are able to compare the scans, the first scans during the first day with the scans on the last day. Uh, it is a continual education in the bedside for the nurses, for the doctors, for the students. Uh, we does not need so much re-evaluation because the data are available. There, there is exactly higher level of communication during the rounds and it is also very effective to select the early intervention and later compare it. So, uh, in our project, we uh, try to use the electronic informatics uh, equipment for the better communication and to find the best way for the critically ill newborns. Thank you for your attention.